Hey guys, it's your boy Fetters here. Uh, today we're going to go over OBS multi-platform adding scenes and sources. So the first thing you want to do when you're adding a new scenes and source, you have to open up OBS MP, which we have open right here. Uh, you're going to come down here where it says scenes. You have a list of scenes. And then you're just going to click on this plus icon right here. Click on the plus icon. It'll give you the option to name the scene. We're just going to name this test. Click OK. And now you have your new scene right here. Uh, to move the scene up and down on the list, you have your up and down arrows, which should allow, but for right now it's not appropriately working. Alright, once you have your scene created, you're going to come over here to Sources, and you're going to click the plus icon. Once you have the plus icon open, you're going to come over here and say we're going to do a game capture. We're going to capture a game. Uh, you have the option in your list here, Game Capture click on that it'll say create new we're just gonna leave it named game capture 2 click OK now right now it says capture any full screen applications I don't do my games full screen I have them uh, in windowed mode a lot of the time so I can move them from different monitor to monitor so what you're gonna do if you if you do it like I do you unclick the capture any full screen application now it says window here click on it it'll give you a drop down you just find your game which mine is dirty bomb uh, you can then you have window match priority. You can do executable name, window class, window title, any of those. Um, mine, I have to click on multi adapter capability. That brings the game up. So if you have a problem, you just have a black screen like this, and it's not coming up. Click your multi adapter compatibility, and that should fix the problem. Um, if you come down here to capture third party overlays such as Steam. What this does is this allows you to be able to shift tap and it shows your your in-game content it shows your your content like your friends list messages things like that it just lets you your overlay be captured um, once you've done that just click OK oh you have the capture cur cursor you can click that and click that to capture your cursor click OK and here you have it there's your scene you can adjust it you can resize it by just clicking right here moving it around All right. now you have your scene added if you need to make adjustments changes anything like that come down here to your little gear icon this, this is pretty much your settings button properties click on it it brings up that same screen we were just on and you're allowed to make you know those small changes full screen application the different game like if you're wanting to switch games and you know you don't want to go through and add another source things like that you can just come in here and change your game now also you can come over here to your mixer has a little gear icon here click on mixer now this will allow you to change the volume the sync all these settings here for your game and your mic so say your game volumes too loud and it's you know drowning out your mic you can come over here and you can lower the volume of the game or your desktop audio and your desktop audio that will lower your recording or your stream whichever one you're using it for the audio of the game and it'll only be at sixty percent and your mic will be at a hundred percent you can also add a sync here so say you're you've got a, a desync such as with the Elgato which we're gonna go over in another video you can set up your sync right here. We can set it to have a 1500 millisecond um, offset where it wastes 1500 milliseconds to, to do your, your volume. Um, right now we're just going to leave that at zero. And we're going to set this back at 100. Oh, not 1100. Just click the X and it automatically saves those settings. There's nothing you have to do. Now, the good thing with OBS is, well, I don't know about good, but one thing with OBS is you're already in preview mode. So you don't have to click preview in OBS MP. You don't preview the stream. It's already previewing right here at all times. Say we're going to add another source. So come down here, click add. Say this time we want to add an overlay. So click on image. We'll name this overlay. Click OK. Oh, it's already in use. It's overlay one. Click OK. 
Now it brings up this box. Image file, just click browse. It'll bring up list of all your stuff here. Just click on overlays. Go to your overlays, whichever one you're wanting to use. And say, let's go back here to, let's say, this overlay. You can find an overlay here. Let's say a webcam overlay. Shows your preview here. Just click OK. It's in stream. You can move it around. Take it over here. You can resize it to however you feel necessary. And there you have an overlay. These are just the basic adding scenes and sources video. Um, we're going to go over at a later time, especially Elgato settings. Multi platforms still having major problems with the Elgato, which you know we'll go over later. We'll go over adding a, adding a face cam and all that stuff at a later time also. But thank you for checking out our video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And we'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.